Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Prototype, which is a horror game where you must test out a new robotic puppet designed for parties. Oh, I'm already feeling the quality. You'll conduct a series of standard prompts to assess the quality of the prototype. Tick normal if prototype has responded correctly, tick not normal if otherwise. Please ensure that results are recorded as accurate as possible. If unsure, refer, refer to manual. Before you is the plaything prototype. He is a state-of-the-art talking companion intended for all ages. His features include lifelike movement, okay, a lovely singing voice, swell, and human-like response. Awful. The plaything is capable of functioning as your family, your friend, your entertainment. He is unlike any other companion. At Pandemonium, we take pride in the quality of our electronic puppets, ensuring that customer experience is nothing short of positive. Motor control calibration. Okay, let's uh, calibrate this thing to destroy me. Thanks, stimuli and zero. If the prototype has responded correctly, his right arm should remain raised. Looks the same to me. Not normal? If prototype did not respond correctly, please ensure there are no children present. Playing stimuli in. Zero. If Produb is responding correctly, his left arm should remain raised. I mean, are you counting this? Sure, I'll hit normal. Maybe, maybe they mean like they're currently both raised. Prompt one. Playing stimuli in. Prototype is responding correctly, his head should be tilting to the right. Yeah, it's tilting to the right. That does not seem normal to me, though. I feel like, I feel like your puppet is just not normal in general. I just kind of want to see what happens if I say that. Should be head, head should be tilting to the left. I mean, yeah, it's technically correct. Normal. Prompt two. Think stimuli in three, two, one, zero. Protop has responded correctly, he should be looking to the right. My right, or... I guess my right. Normal. Think stimuli in... Protop has responded correctly, he should be looking to the left. I mean, it's his right, my left, so... Normal. Think stimuli in... Zero.
He should be looking. Looking at what? That's not normal. Section B, voice box. The voice box will activate through a pre-recorded voice prompt. Prompt playing in... Please, Please sing Daisy Bell. Daisy well, Bell. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish oh, really marriage. Whole song. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat. <laughs> you kind of broke up at the end. Not normal. Prom playing in. Please sing happy birthday. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> <laughs> and now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, uh, introducing... Well, hey there, kids. It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown. I think it's supposed to be a clown? Who wants to see a magic trick? I see some hands. One, two, three, four. Why, so many friends came to... Can we celebrate I have today? a little present for you, birthday girl. But before that, everybody please sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm thinking this figure is not normal. Section C, response to conversation. A prototype will respond to a series of standard questions using pre-recorded responses. Audio will begin in three, two, one, zero. Hi. Well, hey there. Hey there. Normal? I'm doing just well. Thank you. Normal, I guess. I'm an electronic puppet. But I'm a smart one. It's moving on its own. It's not normal. I was created to sing, make jokes, and so much more. I am a talking companion intended for all ages. I can be your family, your friend, your... No. Not normal. No. Why did the cupcake go to the doctor's office? I don't know. Because it was feeling crummy. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Okay. Normal. I have a good one. What type? Of tape. Do... Do kidnappers use? Wait, what? Not normal. Why didn't you come home, Dad? Weird. Not normal. Puppet's gone, by the way. Is that a birthday party across the street? Apparently it's the saddest fracking party I've ever seen. Chris, look. They got a clown and everything. No, I ain't no clown. That's a puppet. You're that guy's a family? Hmm. Maybe he's got a dying clown wife or something. A dying clown wife? Make It makes sense. He's really going extra for the balloon animals, huh? It's all just dogs, dude. Oh, my God. 
normal. Hey, so uh, earlier I picked up Cole from his school like you asked. The kid was getting hungry, so we went to Hardy's for dinner. You don't have to bring home cake from that birthday gig. I got you covered. Just... It's 9 p.m. Where are you? So the dad was a clown? Not normal. Cole found your pager at your nightstand. He brings it with him to school. Refuses to give it to the police, saying it's the only thing of yours that he has left. And this clown went to get milk. I've been hearing about missing cases happening recently. Your son is worried. I'm worried. Where the fuck are you? I sincerely hope you only fucked off to elope with that birthday kid's mom. Jesus, Nick. Call me back ASAP. Rick. Nick. Nick Miller. That's... that's me. Now the puppet voice. Welcome, Nick. Go ahead and tell me about yourself. I grew up in a small town all my life until I moved to a different state two years ago with my son. It's been a challenge trying to provide for us both. I've been doing odd jobs until I saw your job listing. I'm, uh, looking for my new challenge. Odd jobs? Yeah, clown. Yes? What kind? My current job is entertaining children at birthday parties. Could you demonstrate? Uh... <clears throat> well, hey there, kids! It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown! Yeah, see, that's the Gozo dialogue. Who wants to see a magic trick? Wonderful! Wonderful. Uh, thanks. You're hired. What? You're hired! We could use someone with remarkable talent like you here at Pandemonium Technologies. I guess I used him as the source. Uh, that's... that's great! When do I start? Okay, so yeah, they definitely used more than the vocal vocal recording. Not normal. Not normal. His transformation is finally complete. Now, to test him out. Hello. Well, hey there. How are you? I'm doing just well. Thank you. What are you? I'm an entertainment companion. Excellent. Do you remember who you are? Scary. It really actually is a pretty scary design. It's <laughs> you, Ro you Robocop clowned it. I'm in heaven. Oh. Well, it's more of like a forced Robocop clown. I'm not really sure what the benefit- I feel like it's cheaper just to hire an actual clown rather than make a 
a robo clown, if you know what I mean. It's so bad scientists like though, it's what can we use with this great technology? Make a robo clown. So interesting enough, if you reboot the game, um this is all you get. Like I'm in heaven, that's all. Like it's permanent. So that's it for the prototype. Uh this was part of that it's happened a few times, but this is part of the current uh one scene uh visual novel jam. So you only can like use one sprite with some slight variations and uh I think there's even a song and character limit, so very limiting. Sometimes you get some interesting stuff out of that limitation. This is one of them, because they chose a analog kind of a spooky horror route, which allowed them to essentially have something that just stays, for the most part, static on the screen. And then it works. You, you wouldn't question it, right? If, if you were ever told um, that this is like a, a purposeful limitation from like whatever game jam this was part of. But yeah, I, I, I don't really understand... It went down um i mean i understand it it's very literal but just in the sense of like why did you choose a random clown to make a puppet that has a clown inside of it to program it like once again that's pretty bad scientist because you know how much cheaper it is to hire a clown versus like make a a terminator clown <laughs> but yeah like i said it's uh it was spooky i liked it very much so anyway so thank you all for watching you play the prototype i'll see you guys later and take it easy